Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. So, here is my uh, official first clear uh, for Izanami Zero. And uh, this is with a more standard team, not a gimmicky team like last time. Okay, so the gimmicks here are uh, damage walls and mines. Uh, but the damage walls aren't too bad, um, so I don't need it on every guy. I just need to be careful with how I move. And uh, yeah, so the uh, team that I'm using, I'm using Striker Transcendent. He's got both flight and null damage walls, so he uh, ignores the um, the gimmicks. That's pretty good. Um, he's got a counter slayer, so he can get uh, good damage in on everybody. And he's got super high hit points, which is uh, great for this mission because we take a lot of damage. Uh, next, I am using uh, Raphael uh, Evolution, and um, I ascended her uh, to her ascension form in anticipation for this mission. Uh, but then I realized that the damage walls weren't that bad, so I slid her back to her evolution. And um, yeah, I think this works better. Uh, one, her strike shot is better, it covers more area and does more damage. And then uh, her Minesweeper is uh, Minesweeper L, so when she picks up a mine she does 2.5 times the damage. And uh, yeah, more damage is always good. Uh, next I'm using uh, Sakura Ascension. Uh, she was so great for my uh, Lorelei party that I brought her again. And uh, yeah, I think she did great again this time. Whoops. I hit the edge of the screen by accident. <laughs> Come on. Alrighty. Uh, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, uh, bringing Sakura Ascension. She also covers the gimmicks completely. Um, flight, no damage wall. Uh, she has recovery, so I can keep my uh, hit points up. And then uh, she is a Pierce, so she's the most mobile character that I have, uh, since her main job is uh, healing. Um, and yeah, I, th I would say at least three or maybe four uh, bounce characters would be recommended for this mission, uh, because there's a lot of places for pinch shots, and uh, just because bounce characters generally do more damage than uh, Pierce. Um, but yeah, I wanted that mobility, and I wanted that uh, healing, so I brought Sakura. And then uh, finally, I'm using uh, Nonno Alpha, the Ascension version. Uh, she has a Minesweeper, and then uh, Demon Slayer. Uh, Demon Slayer is pretty great for this mission, because there are a few demons here and there. Um, and then uh, her Minesweeper is good, of course, because she uh, addresses that gimmick. And then, um, actually I was looking at uh, what um, Minesweeper power types there were, and there really weren't uh, any that I could see of any element. Um, but uh, Nonno Alpha's attack is high enough that uh, you could consider her a power type. And then uh, you do want power types for uh, quests uh, where you do pinching, because they do the most damage when they pinch. Um, so Nonno is pretty great for that. And then um, she does have a one-way laser, um, which is strong, but doesn't do like ultimate level damage. So I wouldn't worry too much about positioning her for the um, for the one-way laser. Um, if it does happen to turn out that way, that's great. Uh, but I wouldn't make that your top priority. Okay, so that is my team, and then uh, now I can talk about uh, what's going on in the mission. Uh, so the first thing we want to do in every stage is to get rid of the little flame guys. Uh, one, because they have a uh, a, bu uh, they have a blast attack after four turns, which will hurt us very much. Uh, and then the second reason to take them down is because they shoot out these uh, healing walls. Um, and then that is the only source of healing available to us in this mission. So yeah, we want to take them down within the first few turns, and then get the healing walls out. And then use the healing walls to keep our HP up. Um, and then, after you take them down, then you want to take down the guys that are around. Uh, the little guys, like the Bahamuts and the, uh, the demons and the dragons and things. And uh, with them, there's lots of chances to pinch. Um, in between, uh, particularly in between the wall and the guys. Um, so you want to get your uh, bounce types to uh, do that. And then finally, when Izanami is the last one, then we concentrate our damage on Izanami. Okay, very good. Oh, 
Alrighty, so there's one pinch chance in between two enemies. That might be one of the only ones, so we'll go ahead and take that. And then, of course, we want to take down the Flame Guy and the uh, Bahamut first. Okay, we'll get Nonno -no in there. Pretty good. Here comes the Healing Wall. Yeah, Raphael uh, Evolution is pretty good for this mission. Um, I would say less so the Ascension, uh, but it's the Transcendent form that's going to be one of the, uh, the top characters for this mission. Uh, she will gain uh, recovery, so uh, that's pretty nice. And uh, because she gets recovery, perhaps I could think about uh, taking uh, Sakura out. Um, yeah, but I'll, I'll cross that bridge when I uh, come to it. Okay, saw a good chance to heal here, so we'll take that. And then here I saw a chance to uh, move Nonno to the bottom of the screen, which is where she wants to be, so this worked out just fine. Okay, very good. Okay, same deal here. We'll take down the flame guy, and then we'll take down the little guys, and then we'll take down the big guy. Uh, but here I saw a chance for uh, good damage on the, uh, the uh, big Bahamut, so we'll go for that. Uh, looks like we're frozen here. Okay. Alright, another uh, bit of technical difficulties, but... No worries. Yeah, so Striker got in the uh, the damage there. Very good damage. Uh, good damage here from Raphael as well. Although the little flame guy, his uh, count is getting down, so we better take him down. Okay, Raphael's laser will help with that. And excellent. Alright, we'll uh, use uh, Nonno Alpha. Um, just try to keep her position uh, towards the bottom of the screen. And uh, yeah, I've said this many times, but I'm a big fan of a one-way laser. Um, but here I wouldn't say it's necessary to have or use. Um, so I'm a little bit skeptical of uh, using a Bahamut X as a uh, max luck character here. Uh, he does have good attack, so he'd be good for pinching, and then he does have the Meteor Strike shot, which would be good for clearing the field. Uh, but I don't think I could really rely on that laser. Alright, well, same deal here. We'll uh, take down the uh, Flame guys first. Uh, but we saw a good chance to pinch on the uh, Bahamut there, so we uh, went ahead with that. Okay, and then there we saw the uh, Nonno's one-way laser go through the boss's weak point. Uh, it didn't do a whole ton of damage, though. Um, it could be just because the boss has a lot of hit points, but um, yeah. Okay, good damage there. I feel like if I angled it a little bit more, though, I could have gotten both the flame guys in one, but not a big deal. Okay, so with everybody gone, we'll work on uh, doing damage to the boss and then uh, keeping our hit points up. So here we'll uh, get our hit points up. Same deal here. Uh, we'll get some more of the one-way laser through the weak point, but again, not a whole ton of damage. Uh, but we did good healing, so that'll work. Alright, just because, we'll keep uh, Nonno uh, towards the bottom. More healing, more attacks. Yeah, and actually, once you get rid of uh, everybody else, um, Izanami's attacks don't do a whole ton of damage. Uh, one, because uh, she's uh, throwing out mines, uh, like every other turn, which is uh, not so bad. And then uh, two, the energy circle, you know, that kind of does damage. Uh, the bio mist kind of does damage, uh, especially if you only have uh, one of each character. 
Uh, she does have an ultimate attack. I think it's a meteor or something, or a white blast or something. And uh, we definitely want to take down Izanami by then. Uh, but the turn count for that's pretty slow, so we don't need to worry about it too much. Okay, same deal here. Take down the flame guys, take down Bahamut, and then go after the boss. Alright. So yeah, I would say strategy-wise, you know, it's pretty uh, straightforward. You basically do the same thing uh, every mission, or every uh, level. It's just about whether you can do it or not. <laughs> That's the thing. Alright, so I see the, uh, the flame guy. He's one turn away from blowing up, so we'll get rid of him. And we got rid of the Bahamut, great. Okay, don't really need healing, but uh, just for fun, we'll go ahead and do that. And then here, let's try to position Nonno towards the bottom again. Alright, excellent. Okay, last boss stage. Uh, same deal here, flame guy, uh, little guys, and then the boss. Uh, but this one has the ad added wrinkle of the uh, Izanami Zero pre-evolution. Uh, but there are chances to uh, pinch below her, so... And then uh, here I see... Yeah, we'll use uh, Raphael's uh, Strike Shot. And um, I figure just the, you know, the regular 90 degree angle would be good, so... Alright, we'll take down the Bahamut. And then hopefully we'll take down the uh, Izanami Zero down there. Excellent. Alright, now it's just about uh, doing damage to the boss and then keeping our hit points up. And then I would like to position Nonno underneath Izanami Zero. Um, just a bit of uh, trivia, if you do a side-to-side... -side <coughs> excuse me, if you do a side-to-side -side attack with her, um, she'll return basically... <coughs> Excuse me, to the place where she started. So, <clears throat> we didn't want to do that there. Okay, pretty good. Pretty good, alright. Yeah, I didn't want to use Striker's uh, Strike Shot there, because I wanted to, um, you know, get the healing in and hit my other guys, so... And then here I'm going to nudge uh, Nonno from the right, so I can improve her uh, positioning a little bit. And maybe pushed her a little bit too far. But it doesn't matter. We'll use a Sakura Strike Shot and then go back and forth through the weak point, and that should do it. Okay, pretty good. And uh, yeah, that's my first official uh, clear of the stage, so... Alrighty. So yeah, as long as you have a Minesweeper or Flight, uh, that will work. Um, and then, yeah, it's just about doing things in the right order, and then trying to do it as quickly as possible, uh, so that you do uh, take less damage. Alrighty, uh, thanks for watching. Take care.